Of all the planets, tiny Mercury zips around the sun every 88 days, living up to its name as the speedy messenger god of Roman mythology. This mysterious world holds some seriously strange secrets beneath its cratered surface. Mercury even has water ice hiding out at its poles and is actively shrinking in size as its core slowly solidifies. With its non-stop solar wind shootouts, glow-in-the-dark tails, and warped orbit, Mercury is way more exciting than your old science textbooks let on. From scorching 840-degree Fahrenheit days that plunge to negative 290-degree Fahrenheit nights, Mercury is a planet of extremes. It has a ginormous iron core taking up 75% of the entire planet. And its magnetism is totally perplexing scientists. Join us as we expose Mercury's most mind-blowing mysteries and surprises. This little rock star planet will spin you around with its strange secrets. The cosmic oddball Mercury is about to blow your mind. Our knowledge of Mercury stretches back thousands of years. The ancient Sumerians observed the speedy planet over 5,000 years ago. They associated it with Nabu, their deity of writing. Ancient Greek astronomers realized the morning and evening star were in fact one and the same, the planet Mercury. In 500 BC, the philosopher Heraclitus proposed a revolutionary idea that Mercury and Venus orbit the Sun, not the Earth. It would be centuries before this heliocentric model gained acceptance. It wasn't until 1631 that Galileo Galilei and Thomas Harriot aimed their telescope skyward and produced the first telescopic observations of Mercury. That same year, Pierre Gassendi tracked Mercury's path across the sky as it orbited the Sun as seen from Earth. Over 300 years passed before humanity visited Mercury up close. In the 1970s, NASA's Mariner 10 spacecraft became the first robotic probe to study the planet. It mapped nearly half of Mercury's cratered, moon-like surface. Mariner 10 detected Mercury's weak magnetic field and observed the planet's extreme temperature variations during three daring flybys. It also utilized a gravity assist from Venus to change its flight path, marking the first time this technique was used. Additionally, the spacecraft employed the solar wind for orientation during its journey. The primary objective of Mariner 10 was to examine Mercury's atmosphere, surface, and physical attributes. The spacecraft captured remarkable images of Earth and the Moon before reaching its destination. The mission encountered several technical hurdles, including issues with the high-gain antenna and attitude control system. Even though there were problems, Mariner 10 was able to collect scientific information about Comet C-1973 EE-1 Kohutet. This was the first time a spacecraft has provided information about a long-lived comet. After utilizing the gravitational force of Venus for assistance, Mariner 10 approached Mercury, revealing a surface resembling that of the Moon, complete with craters, ridges, and a chaotic terrain. The spacecraft's instruments detected a weak magnetic field and observed extreme temperature variations on the planet. Mariner 10 flew by Mercury three times and took over 2,700 pictures of the planet's surface. The last contact with Mariner 10 took place in March 1975, after it had exhausted its supply of gas for attitude control. The mission was the last robotic probe to visit Mercury for more than three decades, making it a big step in the exploration of the planet. It wasn't until 2004 when a spacecraft called Messenger set out on a new mission to explore Mercury and send us more information about the planet. 2011 saw it reach the planet's orbit, marking the first time a spacecraft has accomplished this feat. Over the course of four years, Messenger diligently gathered a vast quantity of data and captured numerous images of Mercury. The valuable information collected by the probe was then transmitted back to Earth for further analysis by scientists. Unfortunately, in 2015, the mission ended when Messenger yielded to the gravitational pull of Mercury, ultimately impacting the planet's surface. However, through all that data, we got to learn a lot more about its special characteristics. This planet, which doesn't have any moons, orbits the Sun swiftly, earning its name from the Romans, who associated it with their fleet-footed messenger god. Mercury has a remarkable feature, 
a colossal metallic core that spans approximately 2,200 to 2,400 miles, or 3,600 to 3,800 kilometers in width. This makes up about 75% of the planet's diameter. The planet's outer layer, on the other hand, measures between 300 and 400 miles, or between 500 and 600 kilometers in thickness. This peculiar combination of a massive core and its composition, rich in volatile elements, has long intrigued scientists. Mercury is just a bit larger than Earth's moon and lacks a significant atmosphere, resulting in a surface covered with craters from countless impacts. Approximately 4 billion years ago, a massive asteroid, approximately 60 miles or 100 kilometers wide, collided with Mercury. Scientists categorize this as a planet-changing event. The impact generated a force equivalent to 1 trillion 1 megaton bombs and resulted in the formation of a vast crater with a width of approximately 960 miles or 1550 kilometers. It is known as the Calaris Basin and it is large enough to cover the entire state of Texas. It is also thought that another big impact could have caused the planet to spin the strange way it does, as research from 2011 suggested. Mercury has very high surface temperatures because it is close to the sun, as I mentioned before. Not a great vacation spot. During the day, the temperature can soar to a scorching 840 degrees Fahrenheit or 450 degrees Celsius. However, due to the planet's limited atmosphere, which is unable to retain heat, the temperature dramatically drops at night. It's capable of dipping to minus 275 degrees Fahrenheit, or minus 170 degrees Celsius. Again, not a great vacation spot. This incredible temperature swing of over 1100 degrees Fahrenheit, or 600 degrees Celsius, is the greatest among all the planets in our solar system. The aforementioned Messenger spacecraft from NASA made a significant find on the planet Mercury in 2012. It discovered water ice in the craters situated near the north pole of the planet, where certain regions may be shielded from the sun's heat and remain permanently shaded. Despite the fact that Messenger's orbit did not permit exploration of the southern pole, scientists believe that icy pockets may also exist there. The origin of this ice could be comets or meteorites delivering it or water vapor outgassing from within the planet and freezing out at the pole. For those of you who are wondering, outgassing is when a gas is released from a material where it was trapped, frozen, or absorbed. It can occur when a substance transforms directly from a solid to a gas, called sublimation, when a liquid transforms into a gas, called evaporation, or when a gas is released from a material due to cracks, internal spaces, or chemical reaction. Despite its small size, Mercury has undergone a process of shrinkage over time, as documented in a report published in 2016. The planet consists of a single continental plate atop a cooling iron core. As the core cools and solidifies, it results in a decrease in volume, later leading to the planet's contraction. Some scarps or cliffs on the surface are hundreds of miles in length and rise up to a mile high because of this process. Mercury also has the Great Valley, which is bigger than Arizona's Grand Canyon and measures about 620 miles long, 250 miles wide, and 2 miles deep, or 1,000 by 400 by 3.2 kilometers. These changes suggest that Mercury is experiencing ongoing tectonic activity, with new faults likely to form as the planet's interior continues to cool and contract. On Mercury, there are two main types of flat areas called planes. The first type is found between craters, which are gently rolling and hilly plains. These are the oldest surfaces on Mercury and have wiped out many of the smaller craters. The second type is the smooth plains, which are flat areas that fill in depressions. They resemble the flat areas on the moon called Maria. Even though the smooth plains formed later, they have the same appearance as the older intercrater plains. They are believed to have been created by volcanic activity. In 2016, scientists discovered that Mercury's surface has two types of features. The first group consists of older material that melted at higher pressures near the core mantle boundary, while the second group consists of fresher material that grew closer to the surface. Another study from the same year indicated that the dark color of Mercury's surface is due to the presence of carbon. Interestingly, scientists think that the carbon on the planet is not from comets hitting it, 
but instead comes from the planet's old crust. In addition, there is evidence that Mercury has experienced both volcanic activity and earthquakes in the past. However, it is likely that volcano eruptions ceased around 3.5 billion years ago, while the presence of cliffs on the planet's surface indicates the possibility of ongoing mercury quakes or earthquake. These findings provide insight into the dynamic nature of mercury and its geological evolution. The planet's surface is dotted with evidence of volcanic activity, such as the presence of pyroclastic flows from low-profile shield volcanoes. These flows are volcanic materials that were erupted and flowed across the surface. The presence of impact craters suggests that volcanic activity occurred over a long period of time. On the southwest rim of the Calaris Basin, there is a complex system of volcanic vents. These vents overlap with each other and look like volcanic craters that were formed by explosive eruptions or collapse due to the withdrawal of magma. The age of this volcanic system is unknown, but scientists predict that it could be around a billion years old. On its mission, Mariner 10 found out that Mercury has a magnetic field. This finding was surprising because small planets like Mercury, which rotate slowly and have a cooled-off core, are not thought to have magnetic fields like larger planets do. Initially, scientists held the belief that Mercury would exhibit similar functioning to Earth given its rocky composition and iron core. However, observations from the Messenger spacecraft showed a difference in the strength of Mercury's magnetic field between its northern and southern hemisphere. Researchers came up with a theory to explain this, claiming that Mercury's iron core may be undergoing a transition from a liquid to a solid state at its outer boundary, rather than internally. This unique behavior is compared to a snowstorm, where the snow forms both at the top and middle of the cloud, as well as at the bottom. In Mercury's case, the iron forms both at the top and middle of the core, as well as at the bottom. The study of Mercury's magnetic field suggests that iron is snowing throughout the fluid that generates the planet's magnetic field. The 2007 discovery that Mercury's core may still be molten helps shed light on its magnetism. Additionally, the solar wind, which is made up of charged particles from the sun, plays a role in influencing and possibly dampening Mercury's magnetic field. Although Mercury's magnetic field is much weaker than Earth's, it is still very active. The interactions between Mercury's magnetic field and the solar wind result in potent magnetic tornadoes that propel the swift and hot plasma from the solar wind towards the planet's surface. Mercury's magnetic field has scientists scratching their heads. Despite the fact that Mercury's magnetic field is only 1% as strong as that of Earth, it has the ability to cause considerable disturbance on the planet's surface in the form of magnetic tornadoes. NASA explains that when Mercury's magnetic field interacts with the solar wind, it may occasionally produce magnetic tornadoes. These tornadoes serve as conduits, directing the swift and hot plasma emanating from the solar wind towards the surface of the compact planet. The solar wind hits Mercury's surface and disturbs the atoms that are not charged. This causes loops to fly high into Mercury's atmosphere. These magnetic tornadoes add to the mystery of Mercury's magnetic field. We've mentioned Mercury's orbit briefly before, but that doesn't stop it from being as intriguing as ever. Mercury goes around the Sun every 88 Earth days and travels at a really fast speed of almost 180,000 kilometers per hour or 112,000 miles per hour. This makes it the fastest planet in our solar system. Its orbit is shaped like an oval and highly elliptical, with the closest point to the Sun at about 29 million miles or 47 million kilometers and the farthest point at approximately 43 million miles or 70 million kilometers. If you stood on Mercury when it's closest to the Sun, it would look more than three times bigger than it does from Earth. Because of its orbit and slow rotation of about 59 Earth days, a day on Mercury seems strange when seen from its surface. The sun rises, sets briefly, and then rises again before gliding across the sky in the west. Similarly, during sunset, the sun appears to set, briefly rise, and then set again. In 2016, there was a rare event known as the transit of Mercury, where the planet crossed in front of the sun as seen from Earth. 
This occurrence provided valuable insights into Mercury's thin atmosphere, contributed to the search for exoplanets, and helped NASA refine its instruments. Scientists have made another interesting discovery about Mercury, which is that it has tails similar to those of comets. Astrophotographers on Earth have captured these intriguing streaks in long exposure photographs. The tails are thought to develop when sodium atoms in Mercury's outer atmosphere get excited by sunlight and begin to glow. Sunlight also has the ability to release these molecules from Mercury's surface and propel them into space. In particular, the yellow glow from sodium is quite bright. A recent image captured in late May 2020 from Italy, utilizing a filter that primarily transmits yellow light emitted by sodium, depicts Mercury along with its sodium tail. The existence of Mercury's tail was predicted in the 1980s, and it was first observed in 2001. Mercury is special. These were just a few of the numerous unique characteristics of the small planet. And the best part is that we've just hit the tip of the iceberg. Beppe Colombo captured its first views of Mercury during a gravity assist flyby in 2021. The spacecraft is scheduled to arrive at Mercury in late 2025 and gather data during its one-year nominal mission with the possibility of an additional year. We're bound to know much more about the planet with further observation. Who knows what other secrets Mercury could be hiding? What secret were you most fascinated with? Let us know in comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.